Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we have one here in one seventy second scale diecast. And from Corgi, we have ourselves a Hawker Hunter, a uh, FG Mark Nine here. And this one is uh, one that was fielded by the Aeroplane and Armament Experimental Establishment uh, at Boscombe Down. It started life actually as a Mark VI in 1956 and would spend the entirety of its service used in various uh, testing and trials until its uh, retirement in 1999. Um, it was painted in this special colour in 1992 in what they called the Raspberry Ripple uh, paint scheme and it does look quite nice but of course we've got to open this up so we can actually see it. Oh, there we go, some Raspberry Ripple for you. That does look quite interesting. It does have the usual... No information in the flap there for you people that are interested in that information and that awesome looking diecast model right in there. Um, I bought this second hand. I think I got it for around $60. So off a seller on eBay, of course. But uh, what we'll do is we'll get this box open and we'll get this Hawker Hunter in our hands. Already with the uh, blister pack out of the box, it does come also with a uh, limited edition certificate. There are only 5,000 of these made. Oh, I've got a pretty low number there. But uh, you do get that little certificate. We'll turf that out of the way. We'll get that lid open and have a little uh, look. So it does come with the usual stand. It does come with your landing gear options and also that uh, where you can have the little air brake open as well. And uh, we'll get this to come out. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look at this awesome looking a Raspberry Ripple Hunter here. We'll move that blue packet out of the way and check out this. Yes, very interesting paint scheme. This is very nice. <laughs> that does look very shiny as well. These are quite glossy. I mean, these aircraft were, were actually used for quite a long time. They had a very long service life. You can see a little pilot in there, which is pretty cool. The actual uh, details themselves aren't too bad. It's got some reasonably good panel lines. Hopefully we're not getting too much reflection off that glossy paintwork. It is very shiny. That red and white really sets off together nicely and the blue underneath. We'll have a little look at the engine. There's not a huge amount of detail to see in there. Have a little look down this side. Yeah, not too bad. Of course, this isn't going to be, you know, everyone's favourite aircraft or high on their want list, but it is something a little bit different. And as I always say, I do like to try and show some things that are a little bit different, of course. Let's turn this over and have a little look underneath. All right. Well, it's set up. You know, it comes straight out of the packet. Well, mine did in uh, gear up. So in flight. So all you have to do is obviously chuck your stand in that stand hole, the typical sort of uh, little corgi stand that you do get. And it's got all the uh, relative ordnance on. You don't have to do anything. Straightforward. It's got some pretty good detail there. That is very nice. So that's the uh, closed air brake. You can swap that out with the uh, open one. I will chuck the open one on when we do uh, gear down, of course. That is very nice. So this is how your um, your Hawker Hunter will look in flight, of course. But it is not the way we, uh, well, not the way I want to see it. I want to see this gear down. So what we'll do is we'll uh, chuck some landing gear on this and I come right back. Alrighty, here we have the Hawker Hunter all set up for gear down. Um, very straightforward. I did put that nose wheel in and then the gear bay door at the front. I had to put a little bit of uh, blue tack in there because it kept dropping out. You do also have a little bit of an unsightly screw in there, which you can see when you have it gear down. Um, so it's you know, up to you how fussy you are, if that annoys you. And then uh, you put your main landing gear in either side, of course, and then two little gear bay doors that go on either side there too. And very straightforward, and that is job done there. And then you have the option for the uh, open air brake there at the back, which you just put in, and then there is a little uh, small little strut you've got to insert in there as well, uh, which isn't easy. So <laughs> that is a little bit fiddly, and uh, that's, that's how it does set up. And... Uh, what I failed to do was show you, uh, you know, on the stand for you in flight, boys. So we'll do it. Uh, we'll do it while it's got gear down. So you just put that little two-piece stand in. Uh, it looks like it's landing now. So you put that on, and then you chuck your little Hawker Hunter on the stand, and that is how you display it. Well, you know, 
in flight if you had the gear up. Um, you can display these with gear down on the stands as well. That is no big deal. I mean, you can display your model however way you want to. <laughs> Once you buy them, they're your models. You can do whatever you want. But what I did notice with this particular model, well, if I show you the box art again, it's got ordnance on the side there. Um, on the actual box art, it doesn't have that ordnance on there where it does actually on the model. So it does differ a little bit. But of course, that's, you know, that's no big deal either. So um, only if you're really, you know, anal about certain things, you might get a little bit upset about that. But for me, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. I reckon this is not a bad looking little hawker hunter here. So if you're into your hunters, it's a pretty cool one to get. All right, I'll wind this video up. Of course, I'll take some happy snaps of this and uh, you can check out this Raspberry Ripple out in the photos after this video without my hands all over it. You know, sausage finger test. They, you know, not too bad a size of model. And I reckon it is a pretty good finish on it as well. So once again, this is the Hawker Hunter FG uh, Mark 9 from the Aeroplane and Armament Experimental Establishment at Boscombe Down. And of course, it's by Corgi in 172nd scale diecast. All right, guys, thank you very much. If you will like this, of course, don't forget to throw us one of those if you can find that little button. And of course, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching another one of our videos. I hope you enjoyed this Hawker Hunter today. All right, everyone, you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Cheers.